All right, welcome back. This is in continuation to the earlier problem which we were discussing. Okay, so we have finished A and B. So now we had to work on the C. What is the excretion rate during hemodialysis and the CLD in this case usually? Um, so okay, let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at the formula. Okay, this is excretion rate, right? So I hope you remember this equation which we have discussed earlier in my previous videos. So anything, uh, the rate, when it comes to the rate, it's amount over time, the excretion rate. So clearance times concentration, but in this case, it's interdialysis clearance. So it's dx over dt times clearance due to, uh, during dialysis times concentration. So here, what is the amount, by the way? It's um, concentration times volume, right? Can you say that? Concentration times volume give you the amount so let's take a look at the units here mg per liter times so that is it and divided by the time of dialysis divided by the time of dialysis that is equal to clearance during dialysis times concentration okay here's the formula okay let's let me rewrite this in because we are solving the dialysis clearance so clearance during dialysis is concentration during dialysis times the volume of the dialysate okay divided by the time of dialysis divided by the concentration all right let's get into the problem now what is the information that we have so we need to find out the excretion rate this is the excretion rate right is that uh, we need to find out that so here as you can see in the problem there was a 14 mg of the phenytoin in the total dialysis collected in six hours. Okay, 14 mg was collected. All right, so let's go to that. So amount is given here. So this is concentration times volume. That gives you the volume. So amount is 14 milligrams, and the time of dialysis. I hope you remember it's six hours, right? Divided by hey, what is the concentration? The concentration. Do we need to pick up the so do we need to have uh, 3.9 or 3.5 or is it wise to select the mid concentration that is which we measured earlier it's 3.69 midpoint concentration right so we have to select the ideal concentration is c mid dialysis here okay c mid dialysis 3.69 mg per liter right if you solve for this one then clearance during dialysis okay so the clearance during dialysis is 0.63 liters per hour but if you just want to calculate the excretion rate what is excretion rate during dialysis and you just simply solve for this one okay 14 divided by 6 gives you the excretion rate okay we have solved for that that is 2.33 mg per hour okay so this is the excretion rate that is nothing but dx or dt which you can write as C times V or T or this uh, in this case the value is 2.33 mg per hour okay and the clearance during dialysis is 0.63 liters per hour all right what is the next question that is uh, D what is the extraction efficiency of hemodialysis okay okay I hope you remember the concentrations before and after the hemodialysis it's, uh, at the beginning of the hemodialysis it's 3.9 and at the end it's 3.5 so the total time of extraction efficiency i hope you remember this from your last semester and also the previous classes that we discussed c in minus c out or c in gives you the extraction efficiency of liver or kidneys etc right in a similar way here we are, are dealing with extraction efficiency of hemodialysis so it's a concentration before the hemodialysis that is 3.9 and the concentration after hemodialysis it's 3.5 mg per liter divided by the initial concentration gives us the extraction efficiency of hemodialysis that is approximately 0.1 there are no units here okay so let's get back to the last question the next question that is e what should the replacement dose after hemodialysis be if the target C max is 10 mg per liter and the patient weighs 70 kg? So, here the equation I'm going to try it. Okay, hey, I hope you remember this equation concentration is equal to dose divided by volume, right? 
This is a basic equation that I always discuss. So dose is equal to concentration times volume. So here if you want to find out the replacement dose after the hemodialysis, if the target Cmax is 10 mg per liter, let's find out how to do that. So the replacement dose, okay, let me write this in uh, here. So the replacement dose is equal to, what is the target concentration that we are trying to achieve? It's 10 mg per ml, that is Cmax is 10 mg per liter, right? Okay, but um, the concentration that we have right now at the end of the dialysis is how much? At the end of the dialysis, 3.5 mg. So that's 3.5 mg. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to uh, achieve a concentration of 10 mg. So this is 10 mg concentration from 3.5 to 10 mg. Okay. What is the dose that is required for us? All right. So the, the difference in concentrations is 3.5 to 10 mg per liter, okay, times the volume of distribution, okay, so here the units of dose is what mg per liter times liter, right, so it gives you the units that is uh, mg for dose, so, but the information that was provided here for us is 70 kilograms and it's a weight of the patient and here the volume of distribution is in 0 0.75 liters per kilograms. So let's convert this into liters by the way. So it's 0 0.75 times liters per kilograms times 70 kilograms. Cancel this. So now we are left with liters and the liters here we can cancel liters, liters here. So we're left with the units of milligrams here and the milligrams here. So if you solve this, 10 minus 3.5 times 0 0.75 times 70, we will get a value of, okay, 10 minus 3.5, that is 6.5, okay, times 0 0.75 times 70, that is 52.5 liters. If you solve this, you get a value of 341.25 mg. Hmm. Do you think uh, we'll be able to get uh, an exact weight of 341.25 milligrams of uh, a dose? Mm, isn't it better to go with a, a round figure that's 350 milligrams? So here the replacement dose required is 350 milligrams. Alright, we've got to stop here and continue this problem in the next discussion.